There has been a bug in Ableton forever. Problem is when you use track delay here on the right to make a loop go off the beat. For example, if you move this forward 29 milliseconds, it's gonna throw it off the grid 29 milliseconds. If you move it back 35 milliseconds, it's gonna be off the grid backwards 35 milliseconds. So that works fine. We're gonna load up a drum loop from Drums at Knock Volume 9. So as I move this up and down, it's moving either forward or backward off the grid. The problem is when you bounce the stems, it doesn't print the track delay on the stems. So we're going to move this 95 milliseconds forward off the grid. So I'm going to print both of these reference and I'm going to call this 95 milliseconds. So we're going to do file export audio and we're going to do all individual tracks. So now I'm going to take that test and we're going to take the reference and 95 milliseconds and bring it back in. You can see even though this is forward 95 milliseconds, if you look here, they're exactly the same. So it didn't actually print the track delay. I figured out a workaround and how to do it. So I'm going to make a third track and it's going to still be 95 milliseconds, but what we're going to do is put it in a group. And instead of having it on this one, on the actual track, we're going to put it on the group. So now I'm going to print these stems again. Okay, now we're going to load it back in. So I'm going to load up the group track. If you look at it, it printed it off the grid. The conclusion is if you put track delay on individual tracks, it's not going to work. But if you put that track in a group and then throw it off the grid, it will print it. But only at the group level. It won't print on the track, only on the group. So that's the workaround, y'all. Decal.